So today's lesson is all about short game. In particular, short approach shots. Now this one's a little bit taxing because of the water, but we're really gonna try and work on a wave calibrating distance and distance control systems to make you hit it near the pin more often than not. Wedging is really important. Distance control is vital with short game. We have to get that right in order to lower your scores. So the first thing we're going to do is get our yardage. So get right on top of the golf ball, zap away. So I've got 58 yards. Game win today. Slightly hurting, but from this range, it's not going to hurt a lot. I'd probably say this is going to play about 60 yards. I also need to pitch this one at least 58 yards because the water that flag's cut so tight so this is quite a tough shot to get it close but we're going to try and just get it as close as we can to the distance range so kind of 60 to 62 yards would be what i'd be thinking of because i can't be sure in this particular shot but let's ignore the water and just think about the distance control system so the system i most like people to use is what i call a body part system so for example if i swung my lead arm to hip high and went through the hip I'd want a yardage from that. If I swung it to lower rib, to lower rib, a yardage from that. And if I swung it to chest, to chest, and shoulder to shoulder. So that would give you four nice numbers there. We could also add in knee, knee as well. And I would do that with all my wedges. I probably wouldn't have as many numbers with my longest wedge, so my pitching wedge, for example. I'd probably just have three positions without one. But this is a 58 degree wedge. I'm going to hit this what I feel, I think it's important was what I feel, chest tie to chest tie with my normal kind of tempo. In terms of setup, I'm going to have a narrow stance, about three club widths apart, and I'm going to have my weight positioned on my knee foot about 60%. This is my standard pitching setup. Then from there, I'm really concentrating on my lead arm position, and then obviously trying to get a good contact. That's all I'm concentrating on in terms of technique. So I'm going to aim like I would do any other shot, so I'm going to line up and aim, and I'm thinking chest to chest. Pretty much perfect for distance control there. Hope you can see that. Really, really happy with that. Obviously pushed it a few yards right. I don't mind that, let me tell you that. That's absolutely fine. What the best players in the world do, the average about a 12% error with a short club. So. Again, I've got 60 odd yards to go, 10% would be six yards offline. I'm definitely within a six yard zone there. Really happy with that. So if the flag was cut shorter, obviously I'd use a different body part. If the flag was cut shorter again and so on. It's about really getting that calibration and then using the golf course to change that calibration if need be. So if I hit that one then sweetly and it landed in the water, I would know then I'd probably need a shoulder height swing to go the same distance. So it's not about the distance with each club, it's about the matrix of the distances you get with different clubs also, and then picking the trajectory you want with a club. So if I'd gone to say a rib high shot with a 54 wedge, it'd come out lower, but that would still be a viable option depending on what's in front of us. Key thing is commit and own your own distance system. The one I've described there is body parts. You can also use clock face. You can also use length of swing. You can also go up and down the grip more if you wanted to. I try and keep it in the same grip location. If you grip it too low down the shaft, what tends to happen, it tends to affect your posture and you tend to get too tilted over the ball. So try and keep the posture the same and just change the length of your swing and keep the tempo pretty natural for me. If you want to be more finesse you can either finesse sort of soft swing and obviously go up and down the handle. For me, that gives you a lot, a lot of numbers. I think if you've got four numbers with each wedge and you've got two or three wedges, that's a lot of numbers. I think you can really improve your distance control and your pitching if you can just work and get a nose dialed in, nice and tidy and consistent. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, looking at distance control systems with wedges. Make sure you use a device to measure your yardages, whether that be a rangefinder, an Apple Watch, or whatever it is. Use something. The one I've got there is a GoGo laser finder. It's really, really uh, what I would call good value for money. It also has a slope feature on it as well. There'll be a link down below if you fancy getting that exact one. Uh, I would definitely recommend it from my limited use with it so far. It's been really good. 
but make sure you have something make sure you have a little spreadsheet almost on your golf bag of your yardages for different clubs i'm really commit to that there on the golf course and don't worry so much about the technique just get the static stuff right and commit to the swing length for the shot in hand if you've enjoyed the video please click like and share the video if you haven't already follow me or subscribe please hit my lower down below and join me on my journey and let me help improve your golf and lower your scores so thank you for joining me today. Also, please make sure you comment down below any questions or requests for videos for the future. I really welcome all those. So thanks for joining me again today at the Forest of Arden. I hope to see you again here very soon.